Hey everybody, Dan here, and today we are back in PTCGO. So PTCGO is back from its indefinite maintenance, and I finally managed to get some decent black and white onwards decks on here. And today I am playing Ho Oh, and my opponent is playing Dark Rime Mewtwo, as you'll find out in a second. Ho Oh is a very new deck, we've only just got the card in Dragon Exalted. And yeah, it's pretty interesting. This is one of the first few times I've played with the deck, so bear with me. And yeah, let's get straight into the game. My hand is pretty horrible. No supporter, no way to discard stuff. But let's see how it goes. So my opponent goes first, making our start even worse. They attach an energy, but they don't have energy anything else. So they pass an ult. It's a Juniper. My top deck is a Juniper, which is the best card, the single best card I could have top decked. Gets Ho-Oh, multiple energy into the discard pile. Gets rid of a catcher and a switch, but that's not too much of an issue as I run four of both of those. And, oh, my hand that I Juniper into isn't the best, but I do have a draw supporter, which is one up on my opponent. So here I decide for a long time whether to use Rebirth or not. For those of you who don't know, you flip a coin when uh, Ho-Oh is in the discard pile and if you get heads, you put it onto your bench and then attach up to three basic energy of different types onto Ho-Oh. So it's a really good energy accelerator and you can use the attackers as you can see in my hands like Registeel, Tornadus and I've got Terrakion in there as well and Mewtwo just to override your opponent with lots of energy. So I attached a double colorless before I junipered. That gives Ho-Oh a my active ho a way to retreat and then I get heads on rebirth after I decide to do it which turned out to be great because I've got enough energy on the field on the first turn to maximize my possibilities of attacking on turn two. So he uses a random receiver, reveals a lot of his deck actually which is possibly a glitch on PTCGO and then uses Bianca. That's not the card he got from his random receiver so I do know he has an N in hand and from here I well, he just attaches an energy and passes as I top deck a psychic energy. So I use Cheren because I don't really want to discard all that and draw into a super scoop up and two other different types of energy. So what do I do now? So I've got super scoop up. I could try and scoop up the active, which I do try and do. I get tails, which is obviously not good. I am debating playing the other one and I do and I get tails. The main reason for playing Super Scoop Up instead of retreating straight away is to try and save my double colorless. I don't really want them in the discard pile because most of my attackers run off double colorless. So what I end up doing is attaching a fighting energy to my Ho-Oh and then doing Rainbow Burn for 80 because then I could follow that up with 100 on the next turn but he plays a potion. And he has the energy to Night Spear too. So I'm back on the 3 shot on his Darkrai and things aren't looking amazing. So I have got a tricky hand here. I do draw another super scoop up, which is pretty much not amazing right now, but I play it anyway because I'm going to Juniper. I could have picked up that Ho-Oh on the bench to discard it. But the flips aren't loving me today. So I think for a little bit, I don't I do bench the Tornadus because I could attack with that this turn if I get a energy switch, a switch, and a double colorless, or just a manual retreat out of the active Ho-Oh. And I'm also debating whether to attach the energy or not too. I could Juniper and get try and get a rebirth off this turn, depending on because I haven't drawn into any any energy switch. Sorry. And yeah, it's a pretty tough choice, but I go straight for the Juniper. Red Steel is pretty much irrelevant in this matchup. And I draw into two Mewtwo's switch, energy switch, and an energy, which is really really good. So I go ahead, use rebirth, attach a single, is it a single? Two energy, two energy from the discard pile. And that's another Ho-Oh set up on the bench and I've got a lot of energy on the field now. Now what I do here is I do the maths completely wrong. I thought that if I attached, switched and used energy switch to get a 100 attack out of Ho-Oh, I would have been able to carry the dark ride, but that's completely not true. But it turns out to be an okay move anyway, because I get the active out of the active position and I save a KO coming from his end as he needs a catcher. And it saves my energy too by being able to energy switch onto the Ho-Oh. So what happens now is it's my opponent's turn and he attaches a double colorless from his hand to the Mewtwo. That is a problem when you're playing against Ho-Oh. He doesn't retreat which is a bit strange. Um, he does run stuff like potions so I'm not really sure what he was planning there. He just went for the extra attack on my Ho-Oh and did 30 to my Tornado CX. I benched my Terrakion and a Mewtwo as well because he's got his Mewtwo out and use N. 
From here, I will be able to get a KO this turn, take two prizes and get all his energy off the, the field, apart from that double colorless, which is amazing. And I also use an energy switch. I think I'm going to energy switch that to the Terrakion, because with three energy, Rainbow Burn will KO that Darkrai. So from here, it's looking pretty good. I've got a lot of energy on the field. I've still got four energy, three, two energy switches left, which is good, and three double colorless still in my deck, while he's got that Mewtwo on the field. So those three X's on his side of the field are the only prizes I'm going to need to take, which is really good for me because I play Terrakion and multiple Mewtwo's as well. So I take the care on the Darkrai, putting me two prizes up. So I've got four left, he's got six. I draw some pretty good prizes. I get a Ho-Oh and an Energy Switch, which is really, really good. And he gets a Juniper off of his random receiver, which I'm sure isn't the one he wanted to see. I would have thought he wanted to see an end to get my hand down to four, and it would have been great for him to end me because my hand is really good, apart from the lack of supporter. He benches another Darkrai with an Eviolite, which is questionable. I would have thought he might have just attached the Eviolite to the already benched Darkrai. Because a Terrakion is staring him down next turn, I could... I do run a lot of energy switch and there's another fighting energy on the field. So Terrakion could be an issue. But he decides to catch her and Juniper. So that must have been the only support in his hand. Okay, he's got a Charon as well, but drawing 7 is much better while he's got this slow start. So he brings up his Mewtwo with 3 energy on it, and he's really worried about this Terrakion right now. He wants to get it out of play straight away because he knows it's going to be a big threat. So as he's just thinking, we are in a good position here. He attaches to his Darkrai and takes that back. I'm not sure why. He might want to attach it to the Mewtwo instead. That will... Okay, he just attaches it again after taking it back and does an X-Ball for 80, which puts my Trachyon in range for a two-hit KO. So I'm not too bothered about that. I can attach uh, elsewhere for the time being and him taking one prize is not very relevant because he's still going to have to get through three EXs to end the game. So I top deck another Ultra Ball and use the Tool Scrapper to get rid of its experience share and the Eviolite and I am setting up a big turn this turn. I am going to be able to energy switch my fighting energy from one of my ho onto my Terrakion attached double colorless, capture that Darkrai with the energy and knock it out for another two prizes which puts me in a very good position and I'm also able to Ultra Ball stuff out my hand just in case he ends me and I don't want to draw junk and I get another ho in the discard pile when the Darkrai goes, when the Terrakion, sorry, goes down next turn. I get a Mewtwo out of my deck, which is just gonna maximize the chance of me being able to just double colorless and attack his Mewtwo for the game. So I am in a extremely strong position as I have been all game. His draws aren't that amazing. He does get another energy on his Mewtwo. It's a bit scary. If he had the catch, he might have been able to KO my Mewtwo, but he can't and just takes the KO on the Terrakion. So I think about what to bring up. I want something that I can retreat because I do have a Juniper in my hand, which was amazing pull from my prizes, by the way, because my hand was just a Mewtwo. And I decide to put up the ho -Oh. It's got a two retreat cost and yeah, all I need is a double colorless now to win. So I make a tiny misplay. I should have played the heavy ball to maximize my chances of drawing a double colorless. But after my Juniper for seven, double colorless is my fifth card. I'm able to retreat the ho -Oh manually with all the energy on it. Retreat into my Mewtwo and X-Ball for my final two prizes. And that will be the game. So I decided to show you this game in particular because it just shows how powerful ho -Oh can be when it gets multiple rebirths on multiple turns and can use energy switch and double colorless to just get big attackers on board and just rush the opponent. So really great game and yeah, I'm really, really pleased that uh, PTCGO is back and I will have more games up for you very very soon when I record some decent ones. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.